Yes, you may watch, Aria. Hello, everyone. This is Crota coming at you, giving you game number two in the series between Moon and Sonic. Hold on, my daughter wants to say hi. 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 All right, let's go ahead and get things underway. This is Amazonia, and it looks as though Moon has spawned as the red night elf on the top right-hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Sonic has spawned as the yellow night elf on the bottom left. This is going to be 1v1 game number two, as really Sonic was able to um, press forward with a larger number of units towards the end. And Moon was able to do a good bunch of just holding back his opponent, but Sonic being the aggressor, being able to get in some efficient trades later at the end, and then also that item stealing at the end of the game, picking up those wands of the wind, really, really tipped things in his favor as he moved into that final battle. Anyways, let's go ahead and break things down here. Demon Hunter going to go ahead and finish off a couple of easy, easy rogues before finishing off that Renegade Wizard. Renegade Wizard probably wishing that he did not cast lightning shield onto that archer as we now see the hunter's hall being placed down right next to that goblin laboratory and we'll have a renegade wizard falling on top of the hunter's hall as well anyways demon hunter will be getting up to level two in just a second meanwhile demon hunter over here will be getting up to level two as well why is it oh what what is going on Whoa, red wisp right there trying to slip away and it looks like it will be able to do exactly that the Wisp able to just dance around. Demon Hunter now sitting at level 2. Meanwhile, back off to the north. It looks as though the Ancient of War is going to get in some easy hits. And then, is it going to back off? No, it is not going to back off. Just going to get that final shot off in right there. No experience gain. No gold gain since that is a building kill as opposed to... Well, um, a, a building kill as opposed to an actual kill there. All right, anyways, Wisp. Wisp does get in a detonation. Slippers of Agility have been picked up. Mantle of Intelligence versus Slippers of Agility. Who has the better item? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Frozen apparently causing a bit of lag. So that is going to be um, causing some problems for these players as they are now backing off. All right. Demon Hunter and Archer now making their way over here to the top right. Back down over here. Demon Hunter, Archer, Wisp now coming in as well. You can take a look. The Demon Hunter looking to finish off the Forest Troll Berserker. Get a little bit of an economic advantage from that gold. But more importantly, experience and item advantage here. As a Tome of Strength and a Slippers of Agility have been dropped. So far... The, games have, the game has pretty much unfolded exactly like how we saw game number one as the Huntresses are now making their way out into the battlefield. So far, the Moon and Moon is about 40% done with his Tech to Tier 2. Same thing with Sonic as we're going to be going into a little bit of a blow-by-blow -blow action here as the Forest Troll Trapper will get taken down in addition to this Forest Troll Trapper off over here. Now, one Wisp was trying to hide in plain sight, but it doesn't look like it will be able to get very far as it is able to slip through those two particular, you know, well, the Moonwell and the Forest right there, and now I'm going to try and hide off in the corner, but it doesn't look like it will be able to do... Oh, wow! Talk about knowing where exactly you can hide on a map like this. That one location, so, so difficult to get to, impossible for the Huntress as the Wisp now goes to hide off in a corner. All right, back in the center of the play here. Demon Hunter has arrived at the party. Going to be going after some of these Wisps. The Huntresses are slightly ranged, which does give a bit of an advantage. One Wisp was taken down there as more and more Moonwells are getting drained by those Wisps there. Huntress now needs to back off here. Demon Hunter down to 400 hit points, but quickly, quickly uses some Moonberry Juice, Moonwell Juice, and able to get back pretty much up to full. Another Mana Burn exchange there as the Demon Hunter now trying to run away. We could see another mana burn. Nope, no more mana burns there either. As we are now going back to the center portion of the map. Where it looks as though Sonic will be picking up a tavern hero. Most likely a Naga Sea Witch when the time comes. Meanwhile, back across Moon, sitting with double mantles of, intel man mantles of intelligence, which may not normally look altogether that powerful. But once the Naga Sea Witch is out in play, then Naga Sea Witch is an intelligence-based hero, so that will be plus six attack and also a lot more cold arrows. Also, if the archer does not have the correct vision and the Naga Sea Witch gets hired right now, he will be running straight or she will be running straight into this um, army here. And that could end up being a problem. Archer 
purposely not breaking shadow um, shadow meld right there very very important as moon now looking to perhaps escape with that wisp and able to do exactly that once more there that would have been the second ancient of war interestingly enough as one huntress now getting into position purposely trying to hold back this army here is he going to shadow meld the moon's um huntress down to 27 hit points and it does end up falling as we see one uh, uh, we as we see now the demon hunter now trying to push back over here we can see ancient protectors by moon moon really really being aggressive here the goblin shredder adding in a little bit of extra damage meanwhile back over here the huntresses may try and take down some of these buildings as well as the hunter's hall now taking a lot of damage back across over here there is a mana burn onto the naga sea witch as the naga sea witch now tries to slip away does not have any of the necessary items and the huntresses are going to be able to pretty much run freely inside this base all right, let's take a look at this. Scroll of Town Portal now coming back through. Demon Hunter, I mean, the illusion has been, well, taken down there as we now see more illusions being pushed through on that front side. Perfect, perfect placement by um, Moon with those illusions, pushing them past the Moonwell and then having it act as a little bit of a wall for those Huntresses as the Demon Hunter couldn't get within melee range. One of those small, small things that made a huge difference in this fight so far as we're taking a look at the continuing fight here. All right, Ancients of Lore have gotten up to join in on the fight. The Huntress is looking to try and finish things off here. There goes one um, one illusion. Another illusion may get taken down here in just a moment. Naga Sea Witch still slithering back and forth trying to figure out how it can help as the Ancient of Protectors are now slowly um, doing the end walk over and may be able to root themselves here in just a moment. All right, Goblin. Goblin Sapper going to be um, being brought into position here. As you can see, the Goblin Sapper now running their way off to the north. The Goblin Sappers, are they going to make their way here? And it looks like this is going to end up getting taken down. There it goes. There goes one Moonwell, or what should be one Moonwell here in just a moment, as the Ancient Protectors are going to be rooting themselves down. Huntress now gets taken down. Sonic is not going to be able to defend this. All it needs is one glaive bounce onto that low um, low moon well that will get taken out. Ancient protectors are now going to be rooting themselves as well as it looks as though Sonic is in trouble. Two ancient protectors with a third one on the way. No real way of really trying to shut this down whatsoever. Naga Sea Witch getting into position as the Demon Hunter slices and dices his way out of a little bit of a trap. Able to take down the archer but this may be too little too late. This tier... Um, this tier one double a or what attempted to be a double ancient of war push on Sonic has looked to be successful and even though there was the tech advantage the uh, the Druids of the Claw are going to be too little too late too much has gone into pure pure upgrades and tech and not enough units on the field ancient of lores and the upgrading of the Druid of the Claw adept training not going to even um, make that much of a difference as I don't even see a single Druid of Claw anywhere out on the field. All right, this one, um, one Huntress now needs to back off there, taking a fair bit of damage. There is one Goblin Shredder back over here. Moonwell is trying to be rebuilt. Sonic not giving up yet, but the writing is on the wall. Ancient Protectors just launching boulders at that Tree of Eternity. This is not looking good whatsoever as the... Ancient Protectors look to perhaps try and finish off this Naga Sea Witch. Very, very strong army just outside the front door. More Ancient Protectors are in position as well. And maybe, perhaps you can train up a unit or two, but it is going to be quite some time. As we now see the Ancient of Wonders now trying to replenish its cell count. Alright, Naga Sea Witch coming in with an Orb of Venom as well. And that Orb of Venom, very, very useful at dealing high amounts of damage. You can take a look. Ancient Protector back over here as well. Still launching more and more rocks. And I just got to believe that Sonic is analyzing, thinking about his next game right now. As he really has no hope of trying to take game number two. Ancient Protectors are in position. Hero damage is reduced against fortified armor as many of you or all of you should know. And with that said, the Naga Sea Witch trying to slip out, not going to be able to get very far as we do see the Demon Hunter sitting at level 3. He was resurrected back. No, he he was, I don't know how, how he was resurrected. He was just wandering around the map perhaps as the Demon Hunter now coming back down across over here. All right, we may see some detonations. Goblin Sapper now being brought over. Are we going to see a detonation come in? The Goblin Sapper going to be perhaps trying to run inside here. Is it going to be able to get into position? There it goes. There goes the tree. And there is the GG game number two in the series going to Moon as we now see, is it going to be twice? The person with the highest, highest resource score actually loses in this series. 
We are all tied up at one game apiece. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for game number three.